Hello and welcome to what I hope will be a series of informative videos on how to use uh, Garmin Basecamp. So Garmin Basecamp is the PC or indeed Mac um, accompanying software for the Garmin SatNav units. Uh, what Basecamp allows you to do is to install the same maps that are used in the, the GPS units on your uh, PC or indeed your Mac and to plan routes uh, to review trips you've done um, keep us keep a storage of waypoints etc um, on your pc it's far easier to plan routes especially for longer journeys on the interface obviously on a on a larger screen it's as simple as that so that's really why basecamp exists and more importantly, the fact that it shares the same maps that the GPS uses means you don't have problems with maps not aligning. So a common experience is somebody may import a GPX, so that's a, what you'd call a track in um, Garmin Basecamp terminology, into, uh, into a GPS unit and then find that the track is actually not aligned correctly with the road and that causes all sorts of, should we say, interesting problems. So what I'd say is if you are using a Garmin GPS unit, it is worth investing the time in finding out how to use Basecamp properly. And with that in mind, I'll just do a quick rundown on certain aspects of the Basecamp software. I'm not going to go into any massive detail, but um, just an overview initially. Okay, so just for reference, I am currently using version 4.6.2 of Garmin Basecamp and in terms of the map versions I'm using I am on 2018.3 now you'll notice here we've got two versions of the same maps listed under the maps menu uh, it does actually tell us why we I currently have the Zumo 590 GPS unit plugged into the PC through a USB lead so this does actually give us the opportunity to view the maps that are installed on the unit inside Basecamp itself. If I click onto that, and it's just giving us a warning that it's going to be a bit of a slower experience because obviously it's not using the maps that are installed on the PC, but trying to get them down the USB lead. So ordinarily we wouldn't do this, but just, just to demonstrate, um, I'll say no. So that is now currently looking at the maps that are installed on the unit itself rather than on the PC and you can see straight away you know just zooming in and out um, that it's a little bit slow to respond so let's flick back over onto the installed so now it's gone back over to the, um, the versions of the maps that are installed on the PC itself a little bit more responsive in actual fact there's not a huge difference but um, in any case it makes sense to use the maps that are installed on the PC okay moving on to some other aspects of Basecamp this pane here on the left side is called the library now the library contains a series of folders and with each folder you can have multiple lists now list you can think of effectively as like a project it, it does equate to kind of like a file on any other bit of software you'd use um, so this this is kind of a means of viewing your whole collection in one convenient pane but if you were working on one specific trip for instance anything related to a trip I did in August last year from London to John O'Groats and then to the top of Shetland I have under this list here and you can see those items there um, lists just keep the screen a little bit easier to use if you weren't to use things in lists i uh, just demonstrate the problem so if I click on my collection that shows all of the information in my library on one screen and as you can see already <laughs> that becomes a little bit hideous to use and it would it would frankly drive you crackers trying to use it so that's why we use these lists now any bit of information inside a list um, does actually exist however within the scope of the collection let me try and explain that again <laughs> so 
if you create a waypoint or a route in any one specific list and then copy it to another list and delete it from the copied version it will also remove the original okay so any one thing exists only once any one waypoint or route or track exists once in the collection if you copy it into another list it creates a reference to the initial list it leaves it uses the same name but that's just something to be aware of at the outset if you do accidentally delete something don't worry about it as with any other standard software you do have an undo option so if you deleted anything you could quickly rectify that problem obviously if you take regular backups which you can do from the farm and you back up now that will back up the whole collection um, I would advise you do that periodically then you know worst case scenario if you can't undo something or you run into any problems you've always got a backup to go to so moving just skimming down this library again at the top you'll also see listed underneath uh, is this devices section and as you can see at the moment we've got the Zumo 590 plugged in if I click on inst internal storage so that's showing um, that's showing information from the GPS unit itself and indeed the information on the on the maps are installed on the unit moving down to the bottom pane here once you've selected a, a list folder in the top then it will display any corresponding waypoints uh, routes or tracks under this pane here underneath and just to explain the differences oh by the way if you can't see these icons down at the bottom there's a little toggle thing here which shows and hides data filters okay I've noticed sometimes that's been off by default so if you can't see these um, just make sure that's toggled correctly so you can so running running through these this this shows all user data and the number next to the icon tells you how many of whichever item are, are displayed so there's 122 of all kinds of bits of information um, there are 70 waypoints 25 routes and 27 tracks so taking these these three items in turn a waypoint is a specific place um, which you store think of it as an address book a favorite that's what a waypoint is in in Garmin Basecamp terminology or indeed in the GPS terminology as well a waypoint is a personal favorite it's a personal address that's distinct from a point of interest which are supplied by third parties um, so points of interest are um, you can import and they they may be you know a specific garden center chain or specific pub chain or, or any such thing but points of interest can encompass a wide variety of of things but they're, they're effectively public lists of places they are not your own private um, address book if you like so waypoints are your own private favorites routes so these are these these are the main point of Basecamp these are the routes you create um, for your travels and then tracks are this is a history so hence the footprint icon so these these are imported back in from the GPS unit these show you where you've been now that's quite that's quite nice to see to log trips and reflect on where you went um, and indeed if you import a GPX file um, so a third party uh, G, uh, you know, GPS track that will be imported as one of these tracks here this kind of this kind of information now you can convert a track to a route which we'll look at in a separate video because there are some pitfalls as well to be aware of with that but that's just an overview of Basecamp I hope that's been helpful there's lots more to dive into but um, I don't want to dwell on it too long um, so thanks for watching and hopefully you'll find some of the other videos useful